Hey everybody, thanks for joining the show. Today we are going to be setting up this 110 gallon acrylic tank, as you can see. Um, we started by obviously first placing the stand and leveling that so that the tank sits lovely on it. And then we went straight to the substrate. Um, we put down a finer, like more dirt-like substrate on the bottom because we wanted to grow plants. And then on top of that, we're putting this river pebble that you see me uh, rinsing off here. Um, definitely important to rinse your substrate if it is in a dry bag. Um, even if it comes directly from the pet store or it looks like it's clean in the bag, I always recommend rinsing it thoroughly because it just helps with water clarity as well as you don't know what's in those rocks really before you put them in your tank. Um, some substrates are going to come in a wet bag so it's going to have water in it and those ones you don't have to rinse because usually that water is biologically active and you want it for startups and um, you need that uh, biological activity for a good stable setup. Um, so after we got about three to four inches of substrate in, we started putting in the decorations. Um, we did, like I said, want to do a thicker layer of substrate so that um, we could plant some nice big plants in there and they would be able to root and hold well. And um, after we got the decorations all placed generally where they were going to be, um, obviously they're going to move later on, but for the most part, we got them in the tank pretty quickly. Started to move forward with setting some plants. Once that was done, we hooked up the filter, um, like a high door, 125 gallon max of pump, essentially. So it's right on the limit of what I usually like to use. I like to eat over my volume of water a good bit for better clarity and filtration, obviously. So that's pretty simple. Everything gets hooked together with suction cups. And then our tank has a built-in filter uh, station in the back of it too. So we had a little small fountain pump running in the background that uh, separate of the canister pump. And we had those little bio balls as well as some other media put back there that the fountain pump just kind of pushed water through just for extra filtration. And once we completed that, we started to put water in the tank. Um, we used gallons of distilled water. Um, oddly enough, for some reason at the time, we had a bunch on hand. <laughs> so we ended up using a good bit of distilled water and then the rest of the water um, was treated uh, tap water, so pH uh, stabilizer, pH neutralizer, whatever you want to call it, plus some bioactive, uh, just bacteria basically that you put in the water to help get it started and get those uh, key little environments going to help sustain good water quality and make sure that the fish and everything in it stay happy. And then shortly after that, we let the tank cycle and we got fish. And this is just a quick little shot of some of them. They did really well. As you can see, the plants grew significantly. And the reason I'm going through this video so quickly, I, I'm sorry, but um, it was actually shot almost two years ago. So the tank that you're seeing currently isn't even set up anymore. And a lot has happened since then. Um, we have three tanks here at the house that we're in the process of setting up and one of them is this tank again so <laughs> there will be more to disclose and, and share with you guys on why this one got set up and then taken back apart and we've acquired more tanks since then and whatnot so stay tuned I um, hope you guys enjoyed this little setup and like I said sorry it was so quick but there will be a lot more content coming out for more setups and what this tank has in store for the future. So please do stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna be involved in the rest of it. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.